welcome you all to ju bangla in our practical session and in this session we will study the hemocytes from hemolymph of cockroach hold the cockroach and make an incision of antenna with scissors a drop of hemolymph from severed antenna was immediately placed on a clean grease free slide don't press the specimen too hard while collecting hemolymph on slide just wet make more than one slide for further study excellent experiment to study hemocytes hemolymph in general combines with properties of blood and lymph like interstitial fluid look at the droplets coming out from the cut end of antenna some may utilize their femoral leg portion also as source of hemolymph now make a thin and uniform smear using cover sheet of slide whatever you feel comfortable just ensure the smear must be uniform and thin enough let the smear be air dried and flood the smear with your desired stain whatever it is lishman gymsia or methylen blue whatever you prefer and leave slides flooded with dye for about 5 to 10 minutes then rinse the slide in beaker filled with distilled water and tap water respectively to remove excess stain removal of this particular staining from the tissue we are going to have very detailed microscopic observation is very important phase and while we are having this total practical session we need to uh, be very careful about the handling of specimen especially don't try to press too hard to collect few more drops of hemolymphs so unnecessary body fluid or plasma materials may come out and may hamper or may cause some disturbance in our microscopic observation so this particular sessions 5 or 10 minutes duration for staining it is very much variable uh, so try out different uh, time intervals 5 6 10 7 uh, and some reported uh, this this one we are uh, doing with uh, methylen blue also so we, during this practical session we tried all uh, possible kind of staining let the slide air dry before microscopic observation we carried out observation under 10x and 45x magnification field and here comes some view of microscopic observation under 45x magnification field during this study we identified different types of hemocytes especially prohemocytes plasmatocytes granular hemocytes we know cytoids and the spherules and the last one is adipo hemocytes so we know cytoids granular hemocytes plasmatocytes all are having very specialized characteristic features along with spherules and adipocytes please subscribe ju bangla for future updates here comes the first one prohemocyte small rounded with relatively large nucleus and a basophilic cytoplasm an oenocytoid large spherical cells with strongly acidic homogeneous cytoplasm and in case of spherule cells larger spherical cells cytoplasm filled with large non refringent acidophilic inclusions and when it comes to adipohemocytes elongated cells the cytoplasm with small refringent fat droplets another important one plasmatocytes larger in size than prohemocytes with hyaline or basophilic cytoplasm and with cytoplasmic extrusions another one uh, granular hemocyte slightly smaller in size acidophilic cytoplasm with granules